Hi guys, today is the Pilates um, upper body hit workout. So today what we're gonna do is we are going to do a Pilates push-up. And so when you're doing a Pilates push-up, you want your hands to be about a little wider than shoulder width apart. You're gonna be in a plank position and your hands are underneath those shoulders. Now when you come down, you want your elbows to stay close to the ribs. You're gonna slightly shift forward, stay close to the ribs, come down, so they're about a 90 degree angle, and then come back up. So that's your push up. So just down and up. So you're really gonna try to challenge the triceps, the upper back, and the shoulders and the chest in this one. Um, if you have a hard time being in a regular um, plank position on this, you can lower those knees. Start here so that you know your body's in alignment, and then go ahead and lower the knees, and you can cross those ankles, and then still the same thing. Elbows tuck close. So that's where I'll go if I start to feel like my spine is giving out. If you feel like your spine starting to sway like this, then it's going to just stress out your back, maybe cause back issues. So we don't want that. So lower those knees if you feel like that's where you're going. Um, the other thing we're going to do is we are going to be in a side plank position like this, kind of like that star pose we did last week with Yoga Inspired. Um, but we're going to thread our arm under, like we're trying to touch our shoulder blade, and then open it back up. So just threading under and opening up. Now if this feels like it's too much challenge, just bend your knee, bring your knee down to the floor, and you're threading under and opening up. If you have wrist issues, then give yourself a little break here by folding your mat in, giving yourself some cushion, and I'm resting on my forearm. Okay? So again, you're still threading under and opening back up. All right, so let's get started. We'll start with those push-ups. And I'm going to hit start here. All right, so we're in our plank position. Here we go. And we're gonna lower and lift. Lower. Now make sure that your head's not coming down to greet the floor before the rest of you. We don't wanna stress out our neck. That's a good challenge. Oh, and I forgot to tell you what you're working with this other one. So this other one in your side plank position, you're going to be working your obliques, and you're going to be working your shoulder. Actually, get the whole core in there, really, because as you're twisting, you're stabilizing with the rest of the body. So it's a nice way to get it all in there. So like you're trying to touch your shoulder blade, and open, under, and open. I'm gonna switch over to my other side just to remind me which side I'm gonna be on on my next side plank. So I'm still doing my push-up. I could just switch sides. Now with Pilates, it's really not about doing a high quantity of movement with each, each exercise. It's about the quality of your movement. All right, so you to make sure you have good form throughout. That's gonna serve you really well in the long run with less injuries and all of that kind of stuff. So again, I'm threading under and opening. We've done three weeks of barefooted hit workouts. That's kind of funny. I like it though because sometimes you're indoors and you don't wanna to have to find your shoes, but you wanna get your workout in. This is the way to do it. All right, so we're going back over to the other side. You don't have to, I just like to do it so I make sure I'm on the right side when I'm switching from one side to the other. Check that back, keep those abs pulled in. Oh, elbows stay close. Oh my goodness. Paul's good to stretch back like that <laughs> and come back in at child's pose if you need. You can also just curl your knuckles under so that you can keep your wrist straight if your wrist starts to feel tired, but it's not injured. 
Just roll your knuckles under. Do your work there. Open. Open. All right. One more set of each and we're done. It goes by really fast, actually. Snow today, so this is kind of the per perfect day to do a snowy indoor workout. <laughs> Not that it's snowing in here. You know what I mean. It's getting a little heavier. I <laughs> get my body. <laughs> a little heavier as I go. All right, so leg is straight, we're up, and here we go. And open. You can move faster than I am. I'm just focusing on making sure that I'm really going 100% in whatever I'm doing. So I'm a little slower maybe than I would if I was just really beating through it. All right, we're done. You are gonna fill those shoulders and you should be proud of yourself because that was kind of hard. So tomorrow will be core workout. Pilates is a lot about core strengthening, so you'll love that. Pretty much everything we do, like what we did today was also core strengthening. Tomorrow we'll really focus in on those abs. So I will see you tomorrow and have a great Monday.